So, I've been testing out the latest beta version of FL Studio and I gotta say, I am really excited and these features will blow you away. Let's start with the biggest update for FL Studio ever. I can't wait. Introducing FL Cloud. This is a cloud that's connected to online sound libraries, content, tools and services which you can access directly inside FL Studio. To get started, open up the browser. You will then see a new cloud tab on top. First, you'll see some packs that you can preview by clicking the play button. If you select the pack, you can dive deeper into it. Oh, and by the way, all these sounds will be played through the master channel. Now, what I absolutely love is that you can transpose the key right here. You can do the same thing by jumping in semitones right there. The playback speed can be changed as well. Of course, the filters on top are super useful. You can filter by file type, choose a genre, find your favorite instruments, set the BPM range and choose the key of your samples. Now, to download a sample, click on, of course, the download button. Once it's done, Done, you can simply drag it in the playlist and the biggest plus is that whatever tempo your project is FL Studio will time stretch your sample from the cloud that's truly awesome now you can also right click your sample and open up an Edison just like you would do from the browser to see all the files you've already downloaded click here you can also create a favorite playlist by clicking the heart icon you can then of course see them right here and that is very useful imagine you want to find a snare sample in your library but you can't find one that fits your project now on the bottom there's a button Button that will scan the FL Cloud for you just so that you can browse fresh and new samples. That is awesome. New feature number two, automatic mastering, which is a game changer. Let me show you how it works. To find it, go to File, Export and then Master. Give it a name and here you can choose the export settings. Now on the bottom you will find the Master tab and this is where the magic happens. With the slider you can adjust the LUFS but by selecting your desired platform from the drop down menu you can let FL Studio set this up automatically. And very important, correctly. On the bottom you can choose to get two masters for reference reasons. You can for example let FL Studio master automatically on one track and select a genre on the second track. On the automatic track FL Studio will detect the genre. Now once everything is set up click on start. When the render is done the comparison window will open. Here you can compare the export types with each other and choose your favorite one. I mean I mean that is truly amazing but wait until you hear about the next feature. Before this update you had to go and find a random AI tool to split stems from a song. Now, believe it or not, FL Studio now has this built in and it works really well. Now to use it, simply click the sample options and choose extract stems from sample. Then you can choose which separate tracks you want and then just click on extract. And that's all, you, you now have four separate tracks. This is life changing guys, you can now just drag in a song from your favorite artist and create a beat around it. Next we're gonna explore a brand new plugin. It's called Kepler, it's an authentic Juno 6 emulation which you can use to create awesome productions. That is amazing. Now let's move on to the next feature which is a theme update. In the latest version of FL you can now enable colorful waveforms which will show you a color depending on the frequency of the sound. By default low frequencies are red and high frequencies are blue and of course everything in between. Now in beta you can customize these colors by going to the theme settings and choosing waves. Here you can customize everything. Now you can also make themes match with your desk and if you want to learn how to do that click the video right here on my left. Goodbye.